I mean, you can kind of tell because he got a front wheel face, front wheel profile. He's got the squish face. Frankie, who's a good boy? <laughs> who's a good boy? He's a Frankie. <laughs> oh, who's a Frank Frank? So many cameras. Who's the Frank Frank? Who's <laughs> a Frank Furter? I want to eat his face. <laughs> My mom says that, <laughs> Frank Furter. <laughs> He's, a little He's like all professional. He's yeah. A <laughs> That's cute. He's and like, honestly, guys, this is a business meeting. The yes. leash kind of looks like a, a tie, you know? Kind of the oh, yeah, the harness. The harness, yeah. Well, he's like a tugger, like he'll try to run. Yeah. So like you'll see him and he's like while well, I'm holding the leash. So like <laughs> he needs that. a harness. Bro, so. a harness. <laughs> so, yeah. so he doesn't get away. Are uh, you gonna get him fixed? Are you gonna breed him or something? He's still got his nuts. Yeah, no, I, I don't think so. <laughs> Okay. Uh, you're not going to breed him? So. Oh, you're going to have little Frank Franks. Is that going to get a picture no. of mom? No. No. We're debating. No. Right. It's, a, it's, it's kind a of like, honestly, I, it causes no problems. I'm not going to put him through that for nothing. Dang. Exactly. It, it causes Amen. no problems? It causes no problems. He doesn't like... Um, this is an awkward conversation right here. <laughs> no, because you if you snip him, he does a couple things. It, you know, it cuts down on the breeding population, and also it'll help him when he starts... He starts going to start marking his territory everywhere. He starts peeing in the house. He starts peeing everywhere. He, but he hasn't peed everywhere. Oh, you'll see. Okay. Because you're on the road all the time. He'll pee on your ukulele. You start, <laughs> you start peeing on well, your ukulele. We can't have that. Then you're going to write a song okay. called Peeing on My Ukulele. <laughs> and maybe that'll be, be a hit. hit. So yeah, maybe it'll be not a problem at all. It'll be I don't know. I'm still on the fence about it. We need to pee on your pants. I don't know. <laughs> like, have him. Because it, he's been a little man for a long time and yeah. like he's been fine but obviously if I get like if it starts if he starts like doing things that I don't like I'll, mm. I might get him well do it while you're on the road so when you come back he's all healed and everything and you don't notice yeah. the difference think well, about it that's all well Grace um, welcome to our show thank you for we're, having me we're big animal lovers so your life's been a little crazy since you're like one huh? yes and what's been the craziest thing you've witnessed and you've been through uh Super crazy thing. Well, when I think about you on that show, most people come out and they do, you know, they do other people's songs. You were 11, right, when you started on the, when you were on uh, America's Got Talent. I was 12. 12, okay. Yeah. Sorry, 12. Season 11. Okay, season 11. <laughs> you were 12, but you came out and they say, "What are you performing?" You say, "I'm gonna do one of my songs," and blew everybody away. Now, when you walk in there at 12 years old, are you confident that? You're gonna do that well. Um. Well, uh, like we were, my mom and everyone was like getting me prepared because what I've noticed about those shows is like ratings go really, really high if there's like a really bad, crazy person or something. So if you get like an ex, just like cry when you get at home and just to walk off. So like we were just having no expectations and like just practicing. Like, all right, if you get an ex. Or if, even if they see something really, really mean, just walk off stage, don't say anything, because you probably won't get on TV. And, like, and also, you oh, just keep okay. your dignity. And so, yeah, we were just having no expectations at all, and just, like, knowing what to do, kind of for every situation, but, like, we didn't even think about that situation. And what made you think, uh, what made you decide to, like, instead of, I'm sure you know other people's songs, what made you decide to go with one of yours, more comfortable with your own music? Um, well, so for the, my very first audition before the aired one for the Celebrity Judges, mm -hmm. um, I sang like a bunch of songs, um, and I Don't Know My Name was one of them because I started running out of songs, like to the little, like the executive girl, and I was just like, well, I have an original. She's like, okay, I'll, I'll listen. She, I played it, and I mean, like, she seemed like, so, but for like copyright reasons and everything, I had to send in like what I wanted to sing and then they would tell me what I can sing. And so I did exactly, really like everything I did at my first audition, including I Don't Know My Name. And I don't really know how it, I, through a lot of tough sweat and pain, at the very end they were like, maybe you should do I Don't Know My Name. Cause actually at first they were advising not to. They were like, originals usually do really bad. We don't recommend doing this. You. We've been in the show. You, it won't go well. Um, but then I don't know. Something changed, and by the end, they were like, "You should probably sing." I don't know my name. Oh, how cool! So you're 13 years old, and you've been on one of the biggest TV shows in the world. The biggest stars in the world know who you are. 
I, I want to try to see, bring you down to see what remember, you can remember what life is like when you're normal. I have a 13 year old son. <laughs> I was normal. Yeah. So, what's normal to you? Do you listen to normal music? Do you turn on the radio and listen to normal songs? What was the last? Yeah. Time, what was the last normal song you bought on iTunes? I am a Spotify person. Okay, so what was the last thing you would Last normal? thing I think I listened to was um, Young by Frankie Cosmos. Okay. This morning. Great song. You should really, it's like my favorite song right now. Oh, that's cool. I came home yesterday when my 13 year old was playing basketball. He was listening to, what did we say? Oh, uh, Drake. He's listening to Portland. <laughs> um, and he was also playing, are you following any basketball? Any of the NBA stuff? Yeah, I actually played basketball when I was in school. Um, I don't like follow it. I, I literally don't know any teams, but I just watch it with my dad just to watch the games. But it's not like, I don't have like paparazzi or anything, honestly. It's like I'm exactly the same other than school because I don't go to school anymore. Right. Okay, what about TV shows? Do you watch Netflix? Yeah. Oh my God. Um, the Unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt. Awesome. I have been binge watching that show. Oh my God, you need to watch it. I love that it show. It is the best show. Unbreakable. And, uh, it's a miracle. I have been watching that nonstop. I, I love that you get that really humor. Good, yeah. You're, you get an advanced sense of humor, advanced songwriting. Like, do, do people tell you that? Do people come up to you and say you seem like an old soul because your yeah, music yeah, yeah. feels well, that way? I'm the youngest, so it's like there. Um, there's an age difference. So, like when I was four, I was like a twelve year old in my heart. Yeah. So, like I kind of grew up with my brother and sister, and that like kind of contributes to it. And your dog, you know, in your lap. Is nine months old, but even looks like an old dog. Yeah, he looks like a little old man. He looks woman. like an old man, yeah. right? Yeah. He looks like a little old man. Did you bring your little lady? Your little lady? My ukulele. Yeah. Yes. Are you gonna jam for us? Yeah. You can jam. Okay. Yeah, I want to hear that. I told Rich. I said, because I said, Rich goes, well, you know, what are we gonna do with it? I said, well, we should bring your guitar in. And you jam and play against her and put can her I to shame. You? Dust oh, her. Yeah. What the heck? I wanted Rich to <laughs> dust you. <laughs> oh, wait, can I hold Frankie? You want to hold Frankie? Yeah, 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 yeah. Sure. It'll be just like America. I break break. Who's the break break? Alrighty. I love the way your ukulele looks. That's very cool. Thank you. This is cool. You. How many ukuleles do you have? I don't know. Oh, it's endless. I don't know. I lost count. And why'd you decide that as opposed to like piano guitar? The ukulele? Mm -hmm. um, because honestly, I think the completely honest answer is because it's really easy to learn. Mm -hmm. I like learned my first song in like 10 minutes. And then, well, and it obviously was the best. I was like doing it like that. But um, yeah, I, I'm a like super impatient person. And like those require so much patience and like mastery. Um, and you still can do that. With the, that's why I like the ukulele. Because of like, it's such a big like spectrum. You can do so many things. You could learn a song in five minutes and just know that, or you could take it like a step further, like the Jake guy, the professional ukulele, and be like, like completely rock out and like really get into it. Like, it's such like a you know thing. Like you could be professional, or you could just have it in your living room and play it once in a while. It is great for the couch. Do that song. Don't know about silvery moon, not the sun, but the moon. <laughs> I know that's funny. Yeah, I, I don't know. The ukulele's like, oh, but, uh, I'll, put, I'll put Frank on Instagram. What's up, Frank? <laughs> uh, you would think time. we were interviewing Frank. Right? <laughs> Frank? What she, what she want to play for us? Um, let's see. I don't know. Unless you like the sky and the EP and the America's Got Talent. Most you people need. know it from. Well, it's 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 your it's, this is your moment. You play whatever you want. We're just here to enjoy. Throw out titles. Do you some, some chain smoker. The chain smoker, so baby, hold me closer, and I'll be the one that I make a song. Oh, that is so good.
ground and her kids are dancing like no one's around and yeah, I think we were born to shine. Frank, you want to run? Frank, you want to run to go pee? <laughs> go potty in the studio? Yeah. Oh, thank you. Go potty. You're encouraging all the potty in the studio. Yeah. I think we're getting carpet. Are we going to do carpet someday? Yeah. Someday. Yeah. One of these days. Yeah, chance. <laughs>